Okay, I'm going to record with my phone because I don't like recording with my phone because it has a tapping noise. I don't know why the fuck it does that, but it's been a while since I recorded on my phone because of the tapping noise, and I hate the tapping noise, and I don't know what causes the tapping noise. You probably heard it already, but yeah, I'm only recording on my phone because my camera's dead, so I want to talk about how... I don't want people to worry about me, even though as I'm recording this, you're not going to see this until the future, you're not going to see this until the, the, I don't know when, the fall time or something, I don't even know. I don't want people to worry about me. But the virus is messing everything up and I can't see my, I can't see a therapist, I can't see a physical doctor, I can't see anyone. And I'm not the only one. So don't get worried about me. I'm not the only one. There's other people affected too. But with that out of the way, I still have contact with my regular doctor and my heart doctor and the, you know all those people. So I could still talk to them on the phone. But something is like wrong with me. Like ever since like as I'm recording this, it's June. Um, by the time I release it, I might get an answer, but because of the virus, maybe not. <laughs> um, unless if I have an emergency, which, you know, sometimes I think I will. Again, don't worry about me. I got people in contact, but, um, yeah. This is June 2020. The date doesn't really fucking matter. I don't even know anymore, but it's June something. And, uh, ever since May... The end of May, oh, I don't know when it was, May the 24th or the 27th or something of 2020, had jaw pain, neck pulses, like get neck pulses on the left, the left bottom collarbone side and then the right bottom collarbone si uh, side, and then... Sometimes I would even get left leg pain, and a lot of people are going to be like, that's anxiety, bro, because number one, they already they checked you multiple times with that echocardiogram. They checked you multiple times, dude, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It's your anxiety. Well, I got to have some really, I, got, I must have a new subtype of, of, of it. if it's anxiety, I must have a new subtype of anxiety, because this is like... Like, if it, if it is in my head, if it is if it is all in my head, then there's something seriously wrong with my brain. Like, like it might not even be a mental illness at this point. I think it's a brain disorder or something. Because it's definitely not a mental illness. Because I, the pain that I feel is so real to me. Tactile hallucinations are rare, by the way. And usually tactile hallucinations are like you feel snakes and spiders and stuff. Those are tactile hallucinations, usually. My tactile hallucinations have... Lo it's a logical feeling. I don't feel snakes on me. I don't feel bugs. I feel a logical, rational feeling. But doctors can't explain it. People be like, you have fibromyalgia. I don't think it's fibromyalgia because the areas that affect me do not affect... The areas that affect me do not affect fibromyalgia people. And the areas that affect fibromyalgia people do not affect me. It's affecting my left chest, my left jaw, and my left, like, above the knee. Like, above the knee. It's above the knee. It's not behind the knee. It's not... It's above the knee. And I don't know what the hell it is. I don't... You know, I don't know. And here comes the people. But anyways, I don't think it's aortic dissection because I would be in severe pain. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's that. It's probably the... I don't want to be a hypochondriac, but it's probably the virus. Probably not. I get my voice down. I don't want people to think that I have it. No, it's not the virus because I don't have... I'm not losing... I'm not losing... A sense of smell or taste or what a, I don't even know. I don't know. Is it is it you losing your your taste or is it your smell or is it both? What is it? What was the signs again? Can someone tell me? Again, it's not in my head. Those people. I don't know what the hell it is. 
Is there actually a mental disorder out there that causes severe physical pain? Because that's a crazy mental disorder. Might have to get. Might have to go to the. Not joking when I say this. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm not. I'm not joking at all. But if this is a mental disorder, I might have to go. To, I might have to go to the psych ward. Because if it is a mental disorder, this pain is so. It's not the worst. It's not the worst pain that I've had in my life. It's moderate. It's moderate to almost severe. It, if anything, it's not a mental illness. It's a brain. Maybe there's a something in my brain, like a, actually something physical, like a organic brain issue, like an actual brain thing. Or maybe it's my spine. I don't know what it is. But in case people, there's gonna be people on here that don't even know who I am. I have to start the intro. I have morphinoid habitus. Not Marfan syndrome, though. I have a deformed chest. I have scoliosis. My heart and my aorta looks normal. My lungs look normal. However, that was checked about, like, six months ago or a year ago. I got a checkup or something. I don't even remember anymore. I have memory issues, but it's somewhere around there. So it could be possible. Oh, I have sleep apnea, and it's untreated. Because by the, when I got diagnosed, I had to get diagnosed with it over the phone because of the virus. It was like, I got tested for sleep apnea. I was waiting for the results. Then all of a sudden, the virus came out of nowhere, and I couldn't get the results in person, so I had to get it over the phone. And now the, now the, the person is telling me, I have to go untreated... I have to go untreated for my sleep apnea for about a year now because of the virus because they don't want me to get exposed by physically meeting them to get the treatment mask. I don't even know what you would call it. But they said mine was mild sleep apnea, but I don't think it is. I think it's moderate to severe because it's like I'm having chest pains. And the chest pain seems to affect the left chest, the middle chest, and the right chest. I also have asthma. I'm trying... I also have gastrial reflux. Guys, girls, everyone in... You know, every... Any, anyone that's listening. I've tried everything. I tried antiacid. The chest pain doesn't go away. The chest pain seems to go away when I take... Uh, Lyrica, I, there's this medicine called Lyrica. It, the chest pain seems to go away when I take that, but it comes back. It just keeps coming back. I, I have palpitations too. People be like, well, you have a chest deformity, so it's probably muscle skeletal pain. Yeah, you know, maybe I'm just thinking, maybe it's not my heart and my lungs. Maybe I'm just thinking the worst. Maybe you people are right. Maybe it is muscle skeletal. But I don't know because it, it the pain feels like it's actually in my heart. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the illusion of it. Because again, I have an asymmetrical chest. But why is my asymmetrical chest acting up all of a sudden? I haven't lifted anything. I, I did, I did lift... I did lift something, I think I lifted something on May 15th, but I didn't start to have pain until May the 24th or 25th, or the 27th, somewhere around there. So why is the pain coming 10 days after I lifted something, or something like that, you know what I mean? So it's like, May 15th, I lifted stuff, then like 10 days later, I have severe pain it's like what the hell like why did it take that long you'd think it would take a day or three days but i i don't know did i die did, did i damage something i only left stuff because they say everything is normal your aorta looks normal your heart looks normal you're fine dude that's what they say so i say okay i'm fine might as well lift stuff even though i made a video saying i shouldn't lift stuff now I know not to, because <laughs> the only reason why I made that video, I can't lift anything heavy, morphinoid habitus, was because I felt guilty that I did. 
around that time of making that video. I felt guilty. So I had to remind myself, hey, dude, even though they say you're fine, you're, st you're still probably at risk for something. So, yeah. Because just because doctors say you're okay doesn't mean that you're not at risk for stuff still. You're like, you know what I mean? Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, maybe I should just uh, not lift anything anymore. And, uh, yeah. Just hope everything goes well. I think act that's my reason. That is my reason why I have chest pain, because I lifted something. But it doesn't, but it still doesn't make any sense because it happened 10 days after. So is it really related to it? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. So I, I'm going to end this. Um, yeah, you know, I'm scheduling my videos. So you're not, you may not see this until... I don't even know. So yeah, this is a Gnostic Mind Train. I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of my life. Physically and even mentally. Like I'm not even going to probably look at comments anymore. That's how... To, to better my mental health... I'm not gonna look at comments anymore or oh, rarely I don't know I just I don't care um, so yeah uh, and physically physical health I'm just gonna take walks I can't even run anymore like the chest pain is so bad I can't even run so I have to I just walk I'll just walk for now on not walk too much like walking for 40 minutes is no I can't do that anymore there's something wrong with me. I don't know. And I don't care what the haters say. The haters could blah, 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 blah. Say I'm McJugger Nuggets. I'm fake. I don't even care anymore. This is my reality. And it's real to me. So you can call me delusional all you want. But the peop the true fans of my channel, they know I have physical issues. They know I have mental issues. And they believe everything that I say. And it's great. You know, it's whatever. It's like, uh, it's whatever. My friend is one of them. But, but anyways, I, I, whatever. This is Nastic Mind Train, and I'll see you all later. Maybe. I don't even know anymore. Maybe I'll stop making videos.